No, I don't think 2025 is a realistic date for accession of any of the Western Balkan states. By then, of course, um, in the best case scenario, some of the front runners will be well underway in into their accession negotiations um, and will be taking on the most difficult tasks that would have to be completed. And they would concern, of course, the rule of law, uh, finalization of uh, judicial reform, prosecutorial reform, uh, weeding out corruption, and at the other end, uh, brave political decisions about recognition and sovereignty in some of the states. 2025 has been set as a goal for the Western Balkans uh, countries to basically try to, to get to the point of being uh, capable of getting into the, into the EU one way or the other. I think it, every single country is very specific and we have to be extremely careful how do we uh, see them and how do we, uh, uh, how do we basically uh, decide which one is, is better and what. We have seen that Serbia and Montenegro are proceeding quite well with, uh, with the opening chapters and with, with certain reforms. At the same time, what does it mean really in reality? What does it mean in terms of democracy? What does it mean for people that are supposed to be become part of the European Union? In that respect, I wouldn't really rely on these dates and I wouldn't necessarily uh, pin down any specific date. I think what really matters is that we revive uh, cities and, and rural areas with some, some better leadership, some more energy and actual reforms that are not necessarily EU reforms, but reforms that matter to us. I think 2025 was always um, an optimistic uh, date, which I think nobody ever believed was really going to happen because it requires that everything goes right. The governments in the region do the reforms necessary, all the open questions are resolved, and the European Union is ready. Now we see that the European Union and some member states like France and the Netherlands are very skeptical about enlargement until the EU reforms. That might be done before 2025, but there's no guarantee. There's also no sense in the region of the governments to really engage in the kind of fast, substantial, serious reforms to meet that date. So everybody likes the date, but nobody takes it seriously. And so in that sense, I think that even the fr so-called frontrunners, Serbia and Montenegro, are extremely unlikely to meet that date. We'd rather talking about a f further date down the road, and that's probably going to be you know, at best two or three years later. Yes, I think some of the countries on the Western Balkan can join by 2025. This is also confirmed by the European Commission in the communication on the credible enlargement strategy that the best target date for the Western Balkan countries is 2025. Uh, I, I think it is, uh, but only under certain conditions. And this being said, uh, the major condition is to have a uh, unambiguous um, uh, efforts invested in democratization uh, of uh, the societies of the Western Balkan countries. Without full democratization, um, respect of the liberal values and the values upon which the EU is founded, the 2025 is um, looking far less um, uh, plausible than uh, it was just a couple of months ago.